So this right here is an example of a compound pulley system. We have two pulleys. Now, when the pulley is all the way over there, let's check the input distance from this side to see how much rope comes out. This is the starting point, the rope, the knot right here. Now, let's count how many times I pull it. One, two, three, four, five, six. About five times, right? Yeah. And this moves this far. So we can measure the input distance. You see how long it is? Okay, now we're going to compare it to the other side. Let's see how many times I pull it. One, two, about two times. You see how much less it moved? About how many times more would you say it moved over there? Two. Okay, if it was two or three times about further that it five. moved over there, what's the formula for mechanical advantage? Uh, S equals no, 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 no. D input over D output. Yeah, D input, the input distance divided by the output distance yeah. for every simple machine and also for compound folds. So if that distance is three times as long as this distance, then what it means is the force that someone applies on that side, it gets multiplied. So it's like this. Every time I fold it, I can apply a certain amount of force. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I apply a smaller force here, let's say I apply half as much force as I do over there. So we'll call it one half F. If I do one half F six times, that's equal to three F, right? Yeah. So if I come over here and I apply the full amount of force, one, two, I apply twice as much force as over there. Just F, a certain amount of force. And I apply it twice, that's only two Fs, right? So you can see that even if that guy over there, with every pull that he makes, he only, give, he only pulls half as hard as this guy, he's still going to end up applying more total force over the distance. Because what he does is, he multiplies his input force over a longer distance. So every single pull, there's like six pulls because the distance is longer. So you get to apply smaller force and just multiply it over a longer distance to get more total force in the end. So you get more work done. You guys understand that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's have um, some, some volunteers to demonstrate this. Uh, Hisham and Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah, come to this side here. Hisham, this side. Now let's put this in the center. So it's going to start right here. Okay, pull it a little bit. I think I pulled it too far. Okay, let's make these tent. You guys get a good firm footing. Don't start until I say, I'm going to say ready to go, and when I say go, you start pulling. Hisham, if you lose, you're going to be an embarrassment. Of course, he's Okay, you guys ready? Ready, set, go. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you okay. see how he can beat off? Yeah. Okay, now you guys switch sides. So let's stay back and wait a second, please. Okay, now I'm going to say ready, set, go. When I say go, start pulling, but get it tense first. Make it tight. Okay, ready, set, go. You can see how Ozzel won much more easily. Yep. So this demonstrates that because the distance here is so much longer, this force gets multiplied over a longer distance. With every single pull, you can apply less force and still get more total force. It multiplies your force. It's just because of that input distance. And that's the way all of the simple machines work. Whenever you can multiply your force over a longer input distance, it's the same with the lever. If you have a longer lever arm and you apply your force there, you multiply your force. So this is how this works. Now let's do a tug of war. Everybody on this side, come over here, and the other half of you come over here. Yeah, come on. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we need three, three more over here. Okay, uh, actually two more. So now, do I keep making the video? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, one of you. Okay.